some, sometimes everybody doesn't quite get muted and I'm not sure why. Okay, let me make sure everybody's muted before we continue because that feedback does get to be a little erratic. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Good morning, namaste. It's so nice seeing you. I'm so happy to be here. And I hope you all had a lovely weekend. And let's begin. Um, for those of you that may not know me, if you're here and don't know me, my name is Margie Hunter, and we'll be practicing for the next hour and a half. Um, we'll begin with centering. I want to bring you to present. I want you to bring you to, if you are on a mat, to the mat, wherever you are. I want you to bring, to bring you to that place. So that's what we do to begin with. We then set intentions. They'll be set in Sanskrit, and then I'll be translating them to English. Then we'll be doing some postures, some asanas. And after that, we'll do a little bit of pranayam. I'm not sure which will come first because I don't want to run out of time with the pranayam. Right now, pranayam breath work is very, very important. So maybe somewhere in between. And then um, we'll do yoga nidra at the end to give you that space. Yoga nidra is sleep with sleep. It's yogic sleep with sleep. It's that place between awake and asleep, that twilight. Some of you may fall asleep. No problem. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You're so relaxed that you go into that slumber, but your subconscious is still hearing what I'm saying. Um, I'm not telling you to fall asleep, but if you do, try to stay awake. But if you do fall asleep, you may just need to be asleep, so that's okay. Um, so let's begin. Please sit comfortably, as comfortably as you possibly can. If you're wearing glasses, please take them off. And sit with your back straight. I don't want you to lie down, please. Please sit with the back straight. As you're breathing in, bring your shoulders up. Take them back. And as you're breathing out, just drop them. Drop them gently. And breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through the center of your lips. In through the nose. And out through the center of the lips. Become aware of the body slowing down. Honor your breath. Don't try to impose any breath. Just go with what the breath gives you at this moment in time. But breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the center of the lips. Make sure your back is straight. Why the back straight? So that the breath can be spontaneous and effortless. Be aware of that. Straight but relaxed. Breathe in through the nose and out through the center of the lips. And observe how once the body starts slowing down, so does the mind. Remember they're connected. There is no disconnection there. Gently take what the breath gives you. <clears throat> And as you're breathing in, become aware of being nourished. And as you're breathing out, become aware of being connected. That breath out is nourishment for the plant life and the planet. Be aware of that, that connection that we have. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the center of the lips. So I want you to become aware of your belly at this moment in time. And as you're breathing in, I want you to take the breath to the belly. As you're breathing in, I want you to visualize the belly being a balloon. As you're breathing in, the balloon is filled. And as you're breathing out, the balloon is deflated. Breathing in. Be aware of the balloon being filled gently. It doesn't have to be big. And as you're breathing out, be aware we're releasing the air from the balloon. It doesn't have to be big, but it has to remain at the belly region. Breathing in, fill.
filling the belly and breathing out, releasing from the belly. Continue to breathe like this. And I want you to observe what happens, what's happening in your body as you're breathing. The muscles all, all around the belly region, feel the pressure of the breath as the breath is coming in and you're filling the belly. And as you're releasing the breath, and the muscles stop feeling that pressure, you feel space, you're creating space there. <clears throat> breathing in, filling the belly, feel that tension around the belly and the muscles. And as you're breathing out, be aware of the release of that tension. We're filling the lower lobes of our lungs. The full breath always begins at the belly. So we want to breathe like this, breathing at the belly all day long as much as possible. Continue to breathe like this. This is our belly breath, breathing in. I'm breathing out through the belly. Observe. Observe what's happening in the body. I want you to go past the belly region and observe what's happening in the rest of the body. Relaxation is starting to set in. Observe what's happening in the mind. Relaxation is also setting in there. Breathing in, filling the belly, and breathing out. Releasing the belly. And now we're going to be taking the breath. We're going to start a full yogic breath. So we'll fill the belly and we'll, we'll only take it to step two. We'll go to the chest, fill the chest. And as we're breathing out, release it from the chest and release it from the belly. Breathing in, fill the belly, and guide it to the chest, fill the chest. Only go that far, don't go any further. And as you're breathing out, release from the chest, and release from the belly. Continue breathing in, fill the belly, fill the chest, and breathing out, Release from the chest and release from the belly. Now we're going to take it to the third step. Breathing in, fill the belly, fill the chest. And now let's take it toward our clavicle, toward the shoulders. And as we're releasing, release from the shoulders, release from the chest, and release from the belly. Breathing in, fill the belly, the chest, and up into the shoulders. And as you're breathing out, release from the shoulders, release from the chest, release from the belly. Breathing in, filling the belly, filling the chest. Taking it up to the shoulders and gently release from the shoulders, release from the chest and release from the belly. Continue to breathe like this. This is a full yogic breath. In breathing like this, you're filling the lungs completely. You're beginning at the belly and systematically moving your way up. Mindfully, deliberately, being focused, on nourishing and nurturing the body and the lungs specifically. But the moment we're nourish, nourishing the lungs, we're nourishing the whole body. We must begin at the belly for this to happen. Beginning at the belly, taking it to the chest, and taking it toward the shoulders. And just observe how beautifully you're guiding it and the body responds. It doesn't have to be big, remember. It doesn't have to be a big breath. It can be a very subtle breath, but just make sure that the breath is rising and that it's going down completely. Do 
I will give you a few breaths silently so that you can focus without me speaking. And let your awareness be internal. Go within. Take one more breath, one more yogic breath. And when you're finished, go back to your belly breath. Begin with the breath at the belly, but then I want you to let go of the results. I want you to observe how the breath rises on its own. As you're breathing in through the belly, let go. And just observe it as it rises slightly. And as you're breathing out, just release from the belly and observe how the breath comes down and out. The body knows what it needs to do. Honor that. Allow the body to just do what it needs to do, but begin at the belly. Make sure you're guiding it to the belly. Breathe in and then just let go and observe. Become aware of the breath being like a flame. The flame always rises, and so will the breath. So if the breath begins at the belly, it will rise toward the chest. But it must begin at the belly to have a full breath and be able to nourish the lungs completely. At this time, be aware of the physical and the mental body becoming aligned. And be aware of it always being aligned with that space in the chest, with that spiritual body. If your palms are not already there, bring your palms in your lap. Right palm holding the left and the thumbs gently touching each other. If you know it, please join me in our intentions. Sarve Sukina Santu Sarve Santu Nidamaya Sarve Patrani Pashanto Makashantika Mahu Sahana Babatu Sahano Bunatu Sahave Yam Karvabahe Tejasvi Vadi Tamasu Madhavishodhahe May every being be happy. May every being be free from all diseases. May every being feel 
and appear blissful. May there not be trace of sorrow within any being. Bless us so we may live together. We may be nourished together and learn the brilliance of this knowledge together, leading to self unfoldment without any sense of pride, prejudice, or ego. May peace prevail along our bodies and our minds. May peace prevail throughout all the celestial bodies in the cosmos. And may peace prevail along our journey to self-realization. May peace prevail. Om Shanti. Keeping your eyes closed, please bring your hands on your knees, palms facing toward the sky. Fingers are loose, they're extended but loose and, and relaxed, the palms are relaxed. I want you to focus on the crown of your head, the center of your chest, and the center of your palms. We will be chanting Om five times. Om is A-U-M. Don't try to extend it. Don't try to control it. Just allow it to happen. Let the breath give you what it needs to give you in that Om. Each individual Om. Be aware of the Om beginning at the center of the chest. The vibration will emit from there and reverberate throughout the whole body. Be aware of the connection at the crown of the head and be aware of receiving in the center of the palms. Take a deep breath in and we'll begin. Oh. Oh. Please don't move, but I want you to be aware of the heaviness that may have settled in your hand. <clears throat> Just observe how heavy the hands are. It may feel like your fingers are actually holding something, and they are. And now I want you to become aware of where in your body, again, don't move, keep your eyes closed, where in your body there might be some tightness, there might be some pain, there might be a need for some extra love, self-love. You may find that your mind is racing, and that might be the place for you to put your hands. So at this time, I'd like you to put your hands wherever it is you need, you think you need at this moment. If it is your mind, just place the hands on your head as if they were a blanket. If it's anywhere else, in my case, it's my chest right now. I'm a little bit congested. So that's where my hands are going. Place them wherever you think you need them today. Become aware of the heaviness leaving the hands. And that energy being transferred to that spot where the hands are being placed. But I want you to observe that it doesn't become heavy 
where the hands are being placed. If it's in the mind or the, or the head, you'll find that the mind starts becoming lighter. It may start slowing down and realizing that it's safe. If it's in the body, same thing. It'll become lighter. This is part of self-love and self-healing. Slowly and gently, when you're ready, when the hands are completely light, bring them back on your knees. Breathe in. And as you're breathing out, mentally chant OM. Breathe in again. And as you're breathing out, Become aware of where you are, it's with the space, the place, this body, at this moment in time. Breathe in one more time. And as you're breathing out, become aware of being connected. Become aware of being. And breathe out in gratitude. Om Shanti. Namaste. And when you're ready, very slowly, take your time. There's no rush. Very slowly and very gently, open your eyes and extend your legs if your legs are crossed. Okay, I think you can see me where I am right now. I'll go sideways. So I'm going to try to stay here as close to you as I can so you can hear me better. Let me see. That's a good spot, right? Okay. As long as I'm on my mat sitting down, I think you can see me. Okay. Let's start with the toes. We'll begin with the toes and work our way up. If you can do this with your eyes closed, do so. If you need to see what I'm doing, by all means, please look, because the last thing I want you to do is sit with your eyes closed and wonder if you're doing it properly, because it'll defeat your purpose, right? Um, so I'd like you to extend the legs, feet are perpendicular to the ground. Before we begin, let's take a moment, one moment, which we didn't do to begin with, and I'd like to do it every time we begin. I want you to take one minute, close your eyes, and take one minute I'll be watching the time, so we won't go over time. And I'd like you to bring to mind those people who have loved you in your life. And we'll begin right now. If you would like to smile while thinking about them, by all means, please do. Love does make us smile. Okay, it's been a minute. Keep your eyes closed. And I want you to be aware of how your body feels at this moment, having brought to mind um, those people that have loved you in your life. And take this moment to set your intention. Why are you here? What is your purpose for being here today? We don't have a purpose necessarily or a goal in yoga, but there is a purpose for everything we do. What is your purpose for being here today? And as we practice for the next hour, please bring to mind that intention and add love and compassion to it. It'll magnify it, it'll strengthen it. And I'll remind you throughout the hour, don't worry. All righty, and let's begin. We'll be starting with the toes and working our way up the body. If you are pre-diabetic or diabetic, this is very effective. Make sure that you practice this as much as you can. 
10 rounds is all you need, but just focusing on, on your limbs, your extremities is really important because you don't get enough circulation. And so what happens is you run into issues. So um, even though these asanas seem very simple, they're very effective. Um, they're very effective for arthritis, for, like I said, pre-diabetic, diabetic conditions, um, and just for the body in general. I won't go into everything, but your lymphatic system, I could go on and on. The, the, the benefits are amazing. So just be aware of the self-love and the self-care that's going into this practice. So we'll begin. We'll begin with the toes. Feet are perpendicular to the ground. Bring your hands behind you with your fingers pointing back, but don't lean too much on your wrist because you'll, the weight of, the, of your body will become heavy on the wrist. This is just so that the, so that the back doesn't have the whole brunt of, of discomfort, right? Some of us can sit like this for a long time, but some of us can't. So we'll begin. Keep your eyes closed if you can. Otherwise, if you want to watch what I'm doing, as you're breathing in, the toes come toward you. The feet are perpendicular to the ground. And as you're breathing out, the toes crunch. They go away from you. They all come together. Breathing in, the toes come toward you and they separate. Nice space between the toes. And as you're breathing out, the toes crunch and come together. Breathing in, bring the toes toward you. And breathing out, take the toes away from you. Only the toes, not the feet. Breathing in, the toes come toward you. And breathing out, the toes go away from you. Keep your eyes closed and observe what's happening. Breathing in, the toes come toward you. Stay focused on just the toes. And breathing out, the toes go away from you. Breathing in, the toes come toward you. And breathing out, the toes go away from you. Do three more at your own pace with your own breath. But make sure that you're aware of what's happening in your toes. Focus on that toe area so that you can see and feel. You don't have to see it with your eyes. You can see it with your ears. You can see it with your, with your body. Um, the way it feels, yeah? Once you've done the three rounds, release the toes and just stay here for a moment. I want you to become aware of what's happening in the toes now, yeah? They start becoming lighter. Okay, now we'll engage the feet and the toes. So the feet are perpendicular, the toes are pointing up. As we're breathing in, we bring the feet and the toes toward us. And as we're breathing out, you're going to point your toes and the feet away from you. You'll feel it all throughout the tops of your feet. Breathing in, bring the toes and the feet toward you. And breathing out, point the feet away from you. Feel it throughout the tops of your feet, the tops of your ankles. Breathing in, bring the feet and the toes toward you. Feel the crank in the ankles and throughout the backs of your calves, very back of the calves. And as you're breathing out, point the feet away from you. Breathing in, the feet come toward you. And breathing out, the feet go away from you. Coordinate with your breath. Breathing in, bring the feet toward you. And breathing out, point the feet away from you. Do three more at your own pace with your own breath. But I'd like you to be aware as you bring the feet toward you, I want you to feel the energy, the prana, as it rises through the legs, through the hips, and up the spine. And as you're breathing out, observe the prana running down the spine, through the hips, through the legs, and out the toes as you're pointing the toes. Observe the energy, the prana, the movement that happens with this asana. As you're breathing in, that energy runs through the legs, the hips, up the spine. And as you're breathing out, that prana runs down the spine, through the hips, through the legs, and out the toes. 
There's one more. And slowly and gently, when you're finished with the, that round, bring your feet to relaxed position. Wiggle the toes if you need to. Keep your eyes closed. I want you to observe what's happening. Toes are lighter, the feet are lighter, the ankles are lighter. You can feel it in your legs, your hips. Some of you may be able to feel it in your lower back, your middle back, and your upper back. And slowly and gently, open your eyes. Okay. Now we'll be Bring it, the feet together, not, not touching, but together. And we'll make, be making circles. The bigger the circle, the more effective this posture is. And it'll reflect up the leg if you do that more so. So you'll really get a nice feel for it. I'll guide you. But, so let me show you. As we're breathing in, the feet come to center. And we'll begin going one direction and then we'll do it in the other. But we'll be breathing in, in the center. As we're breathing out, we're going to take the feet to the right. Finish that breath out when you're pointing your feet. And as you're breathing in, you bring the feet to the left and back to center. So let's begin. Breathe in in the center. And as you're breathing out, take the feet to the right. Point them away from you as you're finishing that breath out. And as you're breathing in, take them to the left and come back to center. Breathing out, take the feet to the right and point them away from you. Try to make a nice big circle, and as you're breathing in to the left and toward you, try to keep your legs straight, breathing out to the right. I want you to observe what's happening in your left hip socket. I'm breathing in to the left, and I want you to be, observe what's happening in your right hip socket. Breathing out to the right, point the toes away from you, and breathing in, going to the left, and bringing the toes toward you. One more time. Make it nice and big. Breathing out to the right. And breathing in to the left. Come back to center. Breathe in. And we'll go in the opposite direction. As you're breathing out, we go to the left. Point the toes away from you. And as we're breathing in, we go to the right and bring the toes toward you. Breathing out to the left and away from you. And breathing in to the right and coming back toward you. Breathing out to the left. And as you're going to the right, start breathing in. Breathing out to the left. And breathing in to the right. Observe what's happening in your hips. Going to the left. Observe the right hip, hip socket specifically. And as you're going to the right, observe what's happening in the left hip socket. Do two more. Going to the left. And then to the right, one more. Breathing out to the left. And then taking it to the right as you're breathing in. And relax. Take a moment. Just breathe. Separate the feet. If you're feeling uncomfortable, come up, bend your arms, bend your wrists, and then come back to position. Try not to lean too much on those wrists. All right, so we begin here, the feet are separated. This is very good for the body, but this is also very good for your brain. The feet in the other asanas, we're going in the same direction. I'm going to ask you to move the feet in opposite directions. 
some of you may find that with your eyes closed, you're not sure whether they're going the way they're supposed to be going. It's very interesting. The brain just all of a sudden doesn't, doesn't understand that you want to take those feet in the opposite direction. This is really good for our brains. So um, just go with it. It's, it's lovely. So open your eyes and guide it and then close it, right? Um, it's happened to me and that's why I'm telling you this because I've experienced that. But it's so good, not only for the body, but for the brain. So let's do this. The feet are separated. We breathe in in the center. As we're breathing out, we're going to bring the feet toward each other at the center and point them away from us. And as we're breathing in, we're going to take them out to the outside and then bring them back to center. Okay, so let's begin. Breathe in in the center. And as you're breathing out, bring the feet toward the center so that the big toes come toward each other, point them away from you. And as you're breathing in, they go to the side and toward you. Breathing out, bring them toward the center. And breathing in, they go toward the outside. Breathing out, they go toward the center. And breathing in toward the outside. Breathing out, center. Breathing in, outside. Breathing out toward the center. This is the last one. Breathing in to the outside. Come back to center. Breathe in, and now we'll go in the opposite direction. As you're breathing out, the feet go toward the outside, point them away from you. And as you're breathing in, they come back to center and toward you. As you're breathing out, they go toward the outside and away from you. And as you're breathing in, they come toward the center and toward you. Breathing out, to the outside, away from you, and breathing in to the center and toward you. Breathing out to the outside and away from you, and breathing in to the center and toward you. Breathing out again to the outside and breathing in to the center and toward you one more breathing out to the outside and breathing in the center and toward you relax the feet relax the legs and open your eyes Okay, we're going to address the knees. We did this um, before. We did one knee first, then the second knee, and then we did both knees. We're just going to do both knees for time's sake today because I kind of want to go through the whole body um, as much as we can. So we'll begin <clears throat> by just, I want you to keep the feet relaxed. And all you're going to do is um, tighten the muscles around the knee. Okay? Keep the feet. Relax, make sure the feet are very relaxed, the upper body. You'll, what you'll find is maybe your buttocks will, will be engaged as well. And that's okay, but I want the feet to be relaxed and most of the body relaxed. I just want you to focus on the muscles that are around the knee. This is very good if you have knees that are a problem. This will help build the support for those knees. So we go back into the same position, arms behind you. And I will be counting it out because you want to hold that. So tighten the knee. One, two, three, four, five, and release the knees. Tighten the knees. One, two, three, four, five, and release the knees. Make sure your feet are relaxed. Tighten the knees. One, two, three, four, five, release the knees. Wiggle the toes, make sure they're relaxed. Tighten your knees. One, two, three, four, five. Release the knees. 
One more time. Tighten the knee. One, two, three, four, five. Hold them just a little longer. And let them go. This is very good. If you do this throughout the day, um, maybe do 10 rounds in the morning and 10 rounds before you go to sleep. It's really good for your knees. It, it builds a good support. We, you, you'll be surprised by what it can do for you. Okay, so now we'll be working by bending your knee. So what I'd like you to do is, let me show you the front view. So one foot is gonna be extended and you'll be bringing the other foot toward you, but I want you to bring your hands under your thighs. So this is breathing out position. As you're breathing in, you're going to extend the foot and you're going to straighten the arms. Breathing out, you bring the foot in. Let me show you sideways what it looks like. I'll use this way. So you bring it, bring the foot in toward the body. And as you're breathing out, you point the toe. You bring the foot in, but don't bring the foot on the ground. And you want to um, crank the toes up. You don't want to point the toes when you come here. You want to flex the foot. And as you're breathing out, you point the toes, okay? The other foot is relaxed. Alrighty, so let's do this together. We'll begin with our left foot. Bring the foot toward the body. If the foot is on the ground, bring the hands behind the knee on the thigh. Breathe out. And now, as you're breathing in, extend the foot, point the toe. And as you're breathing out, bring the foot toward you. As you're breathing, in, extend the foot, point the toe. And as you're breathing out, bring the foot toward you. As you're breathing in, extend the foot, point the toe. And as you're breathing out, bring the foot toward you. Do three more at your own pace with your own breath. Take your time. Be deliberate about your asanas. And when you finish the third one, bring that foot down and a straight leg. The difference between exercise and yoga is that when you're practicing asanas, when you're practicing yogic exercises, the asanas, you're tuning into what's happening to the body. You want to know how the body's responding. Um, you want to tune in to what the body needs. And so as you're practicing, you do, you tune in, you, you, you understand what's being pulled, what's being contracted, what the, where the body needs what. Anyway, so let's do the other side, the right side. <clears throat> so the right foot comes toward us, the left knee, is, or I mean the right knee is at your chest, left foot is extended, but relaxed. Breathe out here. And as you're breathing in, Extend the foot, you point it, extend the leg. And as you're breathing out, bring the foot toward you. Don't bring the foot on the ground. Breathing in, extend the foot and point the toe. And breathing out, bring the foot toward you. Don't bring it on the ground and flex it. Breathing in, point the toe away from you. And breathing out, bring the foot toward you. Breathing in, point the toe away from you. And breathing out, bring it toward you. Two more. Breathing in, foot is away from you, but off the ground. And breathing out to the place toward you and off the ground. One more. Breathing in, the foot is toward away from you. And breathing out, the foot is toward you. Bring the foot on the ground, slide it across, extend the leg. Keep your eyes closed. Wiggle your toes. If you have any extra energy there, be aware of that. And open your eyes. Let's bring the soles of our feet together. Toes are in contact with each other. If you can interlace your fingers and put them over your toes, do so. And take the asana on butterfly. Good. All righty. Stay here for a moment. I want you to be aware. When you raise your knees, I want you to be aware of the tip of your spine. This is where the tip of the spine is the closest to the ground it'll ever be. So watch. 
stay here for a moment. Be aware of where the tip of your spine is, right? Bring your knees as close to the ground as you can. And now, as you're breathing in, start raising the knees and observe what happens to the tip of the spine. It's very close to the ground. Breathing out, bring the knees down. And now we've created a nice cushion for it, right? Breathing in, feel the spine as it comes toward the ground. And as you're breathing out, and bringing the knees down, down, become aware of that space you're creating for it. Breathing in, become aware of the energy rising from the ground up the spine. And as you're breathing out, become aware of releasing. You feel the breath flowing down the spine and out the tip of the spine into the ground. Breathing in, feel the, feel the energy rising. Feel yourself being nourished. And as you're breathing out, feel the energy flowing down the spine and being released into the ground. As you're breathing in and feeling the nourishment coming up the spine, be aware of the breath rising and prana rising. And as you're breathing out, be aware of, of a fauna, of that breath going down, that energy flowing down, and the roots being taken into the ground. Be aware of being grounded. Breathing in. Feel that energy rising, that prana. And breathing out. Feel a prana. And slowly and gently relax the leg. But stay in this position. Become aware of being grounded. Become aware of being connected. Be aware of your intentions. Why are you here? And add love and compassion to those intentions. And slowly and gently release the feet, extend the legs. And open your eyes. Okay. Um, we'll be addressing our hips. I'm sorry, our, our um, yeah, well, yeah, our hips. This area right here, your pelvic area as well as, as your abdominal area, but we're also going to be twisting the waist. So let me show you. Your legs will be extended. And you, in this case, I will be taking my left leg over my right. So my right foot. Is, oh, I'm sorry, my left foot is over my right leg. The right leg is, is, is straight and extended, so the corresponding arm on that side is the one that's going to be extended, right? So we'll be making an L with this. Breathe in here. Let me show you and then we'll do it together. Breathing in here. As you're breathing out, you're going to be bringing the elbow around. Let me show you. I'm bringing my elbow around. I'm kind of pushing my knee to the side. If this is as far as your hand can go, please leave it here. If you can bring it down and hold on to your leg, do that and then twist and look over your shoulder. Try to keep your body straight. Try not to be back here. If your foot is too close to you, this is where you're gonna go. If the foot is too far from you, this is where you're gonna go. So if your foot is somewhere in between, your body will have a tendency to stay straighter. So watch, my, right here, my body is in, in the position that I need to be. If my foot is closer, it's pushing me back a little. If my foot is farther, I'm coming forward because I need to get around this knee, right? So you want to make sure that you try to keep the spine as perpendicular as possible. This elbow will push the knee out of the way. So it'll help you so that you can twist. You use this Elbow to push the knee and twist the waist and look over the shoulder. Okay? All right. If you, like I said, if this is what works for you, please, by all means, stay here because this nice push will give you that twist. If you're struggling to bring this down, just let it go. Just stay here. If you're comfortable doing this, then by all means, do that. Okay? All right. So we'll begin in this position. So we're here. Does anybody have any questions? Raise your hand. If you are struggling with this one, are you okay? Did it, was everybody able to see? Okay, yeah? Okay, good, let's do it. Okay, so we'll begin with the left leg. So take the left foot over the right leg. 
The right leg is straight, so the right arm is going to go up and be straight. You're breathing in here, you extend the arm, right? As you're breathing out, bend the elbow and bring it, bring it around the knee, right? Push the knee out of the way. Bring your hand down if you can, otherwise leave it here. And as you're pushing, you're going to twist and look over your shoulder. This position is breathing out. When you're doing this, you have to breathe out because you're making the room for the twist. Breathing in in this position will only make it very difficult, if not impossible, for you to do it because you need to make room. And just stay here. Look over your shoulder. The breath is shallow. Very nice twist. Very nice for your whole abdominal region, for the spine, for the nervous system, digestive system, lymphatic system. All right. Slowly, very, very slowly, let go of that hand and that right elbow. Come to center. Bring that left hand forward and extend both legs. Okay. We did one side, now we have to do the other. So bring the right leg over the left, I'm sorry, the right foot over the left leg. The left leg is extended, so the left arm is going to be the one that's extended. Breathe in. And as you're breathing out, bend the elbow, come around your knee, and twist. And look over your right shoulder. Try to keep your spine perpendicular to the ground, as straight as you can have it. And just breathe here. Try to relax in this position. If you're feeling any pain at any time, back out immediately, but gently, slowly. Pain is not what we want ever. Discomfort's okay, but not pain. All right. Coming out of the position of the asana, let go of that left elbow, bring it around, bring that right hand around. And extend both legs. Keep your eyes closed. Arms at your side. Palms facing toward the sky. Breathe in. Both feet are together and extended. And as you're breathing out, hold forward and down. Hold on to your toes or hold on to wherever in your, in your body you can. And just stay here. As you're breathing in, bring the arms up. And as you're breathing out, arms to the side, palms are facing up halfway. Now turn the palms down, finish that breath out, and bring that energy in. Very nice. Let me face you now. Keep your eyes closed if you can, unless you need to watch what I'm doing. Palms are at your side, palms are facing the sky. As you're breathing in, bring the arms up, palms facing each other. And as you're breathing out, bring them down and hold on to your toes or your feet, wherever you can. Do the best that you can. Mornings are always more difficult. We're not quite as limber in the mornings as we are in the evening. So be kind, be gentle. Don't be judgmental with your body. With your next breath out, go deeper into the posture. Let go of that lower back. There's nothing to hold on to. All right, extend the arms in front of you. Palms are facing each other, breathing in, come up. And as you're breathing out, arms to the side, palms are facing the sky halfway, turn them down, finish that breath out and bring that energy in. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> And open your eyes. Lovely, right? Love that. Okay. Let's, um, I'd like you to get onto your hands and knees, please. Do some Marjorie Asana, some cat cow. Okay. Your wrists are under your shoulders. Your knees are under your hips. <clears throat> Stay here in a stable position. Your head, you're facing down and your head is straight. Very stable position. Okay, 
what we'll be doing as we're breathing in, the head is going to be coming up and the hips are going to be coming up. And I want you to focus on how wide and spread the hips can be. I want you to make space in those hips. And as you're breathing out, I want you to lead with the hips. Let the hips start first and you'll observe how the body wants to come in naturally. Bring the chin to the chest. Put some pressure on the thyroid. And as you're breathing in, you come back up. Okay, so let's do this together. Breathing in, bring the head up. Bring the hips up. Feel the pressure in the hips. Feel how you're opening those hips. So beautiful. And as you're breathing out, lead with the hips. Bring the chin to the chest. Pressure on the thyroid. Belly button to the spine. Breathing in. Come up. Head comes up. Hips come up. Feel the expansion in the hips. Feel the pull in the throat. And as you're breathing out, hips come in, chin to the chest, belly button to the spine. Nice big mountain. Bring that belly button in the spine. Suck that stomach in. And as you're breathing in, head up, hips up. Feel the expansion. Feel the curvature of your spine. Breathing out, lead with the hips, come back. Chin to the chest. And breathing in, come up. Do two more. At your own pace, with your own breath. Observe your spine. Observe the hips as they open up. It's very, very beautiful and it's very effective. Keep your eyes closed if you can, so you can tune into what's happening in your body. Send those intentions to the body. Let the body know why you're here. Let it know it's strong. Thank it for being strong. Thank it for doing what you're asking. When you're finished, stay in that neutral position and we'll be threading the needle. So this is a very nice pull through the shoulders. It's a very nice twist, but very kind twist of the back. So let me show you and then we'll do it together. I'll be showing you with my left hand so you can see what I'm doing. So the left, I'm gonna take the left elbow as I'm breathing out, I'm going to bend the right elbow, bring the left elbow on the ground, and then I'm going to take the left hand all the way through. And I'm going to bring the left cheek on the ground. Very comfortable here. And as I finish being comfortable and relaxed, then I'm going to extend my right arm up. My right arm is aligned with my shoulder. If you can, if you have a stiff shoulder, it might be out here and that's okay. But if you can bring it in line with the shoulder, do so. And relax. And then we'll be bringing the right hand back, pushing up and coming back to the initial position, okay? For those of you that haven't done it, don't think you can't do it. You can. It's very, very, very kind. But be very gentle as you're bringing that shoulder down. Be gentle in setting it down. Don't rush through this asana, okay? Make sure that as you're setting that shoulder down, Kim, be careful. Um, and just relax there and let the expansion and the pull take place on its own. So breathing in here. As you're breathing out, you're going to slightly bend the right elbow, bring the left elbow on the ground, okay? We're, this is how we begin. Breathe in, and as we breathe out, extend that arm all the way through, bring the left cheek on the ground, relax here. Your left palm is facing toward the sky. And now take the right arm overhead, the right palm is facing the ground, arm is straight, and stay here. Feel the opening of the hips, slight hip, slight twist of the spine, nice pull through the shoulders, nice stretch through the right shoulder, nice pull through the left shoulder and the left shoulder blade. Feel the stretch throughout your whole right side, right side of your torso. Feel the stretch in your armpit. It's a beautiful stretch. And a nice twist and a nice stretch in the neck. Slowly and gently bring that right hand back and push up. And come to the original position. Take a few breaths here. 
Take a moment. Feel how lovely that feels. And now let's do the other side. Breathe in. And as you're breathing out, slightly bend the left elbow, bring the right elbow on the ground, and now take that right hand all the way through. And your right cheek goes on the ground. And now you're going to extend, once you're comfortable, extend the left hand and the left arm overhead. Make sure it's in line with your left shoulder if you can. And just relax here. Become aware of the pull of the left arm. Feel the pull in the left armpit throughout the shoulder, but more so throughout your torso. Nice twist, slight twist in the back. Feel the pull throughout your right shoulder, your right shoulder blade. Gentle pull throughout your neck. <laughs> All righty. And slowly and gently bring that left hand back toward its original position. Come up, <coughs> excuse me. And bring the big toes together, bring your hips on the ground onto your feet, extend the arms in front of you and bring your forehead to the ground. Extend the arms, but be comfortable. Relax the arms. And now take your arms back, palms facing toward the sky. Bring your right arm back and hold on to your right wrist with your left hand. Both palms are facing toward the sky. Stay in the position you're in. The only thing that's changing is your arms and your hands. Any nice pressure on your kidneys. All right, and slowly and gently release the wrist. Bring your palms next to your knees. Push yourself up, use your arms to push yourself up. Don't use your back. And sit up facing me. Your eyes closed if you can. Become aware of what's happening in your body. Your spine may be feeling, feeling a little lighter. The hips definitely are probably feeling much lighter. The shoulders. And now let's work a little bit on the neck. We got a little bit of work just now, but let's do a little bit more. Actually, let's do the hands before we do that. So this this um, spreading of the fingers is very effective. We don't realize, we don't really stretch our fingers. We tend to keep our hands curved. This stretching it like this creates energy throughout all the joints in the hands. Um, and we want that because the more curved we are, the more the hands will want to be like this. So we want to do this throughout the day, just do it. But don't just extend it. Let them go out freely and make, think of yourself as a, um, as a, what's the, what's the word I'm thinking, starfish. You know how their, their little arms are all extended? Do that, extend them, right? So, okay, so the hands are facing down, arms are at shoulder height. I want you to focus on the hands, but be, be gentle, but be firm, right? I want you to make sure that you energize them really well when they're out here. And then as you're breathing in, breathing out, you bring them back. So, breathing out, bring the thumb inside, four fingers over, and now, as you're breathing in, extend the fingers, and now pressure. Put some energy into to it. Breathing out, bring the thumb inside, four fingers over. Breathing in, pressure on those fingers. Feel the pressure between the fingers. Breathing out, fingers in, thumb inside. Breathing in, bring those fingers out and extend them. Pressure on those fingers. Breathing out, bring the fingers in. Do two more at your own pace with your own breath. One more. 
and bring the arms down. Close your eyes. Be aware of what's happening in the hands. It's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. That energy going through those fingers makes a big difference. If we have stiffness, if we have arthritis, if we have anything going on in the joints and the hands, you'll find that if you do this throughout the day, it will make a difference. Okay, and open your eyes. Let's be gentle. Let's go with the neck. I want you to stay here for a moment. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through the center of your lips. If you need to see me, open your eyes. Otherwise, try to keep them closed and observe what's happening in the neck, what's happening in the, in the mind and in the brain. Breathe in in the center. As you're breathing out, bring your chin to the chest. Breathing in, come up. And as you're breathing out, take your head back. Breathing in, come up. Breathing out, bring the head down in the front toward the chest. Try to touch your chest with your chin. Nice pull in the back of the spine, all the way down to the tip of the spine. Breathing in, come up. And as you're breathing out, take the head back. Feel the stretch through the throat, all the way down to the pubic bone. Feel it. Breathing in, come up. Now I'm going to ask you to do the same thing, but instead of breathing in on the way up, I want you to breathe once you're up. So you're gonna be bringing the head either down or back, but I don't want you to breathe until you're all the way up at center, okay? All right, breathe in in the center. And as you're breathing out, bring your head down, chin to the chest, nice pull throughout the back of your neck, all the way down to the end of the spine. Bring the head up. Breathe in. And as you're breathing out, take the head back. Feel the pull in the neck all the way down the front, center of your torso, all the way down to the pubic bone. Bring the head up. Breathe in. One more time. In the front, all the way down. Breathing out. Bring the head up. Breathe in. And as you're breathing out, bring the head back. Nice stretch in the throat. Bring the head up. Breathe in. Now we'll be taking our ears to our shoulders. We'll take our time, be gentle. We'll do two, two times on each side. So breathe in in the center. As you're breathing out, take your left ear to your left shoulder. Head up. Breathe in, and as you're breathing out, take the right ear to the right shoulder. Head up, breathe in, one more time. Left ear to the left shoulder as you're breathing out. Head up, breathe in, and as you're breathing out, take the right ear to the right shoulder. Take your time, be very gentle. Head up, breathe in, stay here for a moment. Just breathe. And now we'll be making a gesture, we'll be turning our head as if we're looking over our shoulder. So we breathe in in the center. And as we're breathing out, we'll go to the left. Breathing out, turn the head toward the left as if you're looking over your left shoulder. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, drop the shoulders. Come back to center. Breathe in, and as you're breathing out, turn to the right. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Feel the pull on the left side. Back to center, breathe in, and as you're breathing out, take it to the left. Look over your shoulder. Keep your eyes closed, but look over the shoulder. Okay, come back to center, breathe in, and as you're breathing out, go to the right. Come back to center. Breathe in. 
and stay here. Keep your eyes closed. Become aware of what's happening in your mat. We'll be making circles gently, very, very gently. If you get dizzy, open your eyes and then stop. Otherwise, do it with me. We'll start by going clockwise. So bring your neck down toward your chin. As you're breathing in, go toward the right and back. And as you're breathing out, go toward the left and down toward the front. Breathing in, go to the right and back. And as you're breathing out, go to the left and down in the front. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction. Breathing in, go to the left and back. And breathing out, go to the right and down in the front. Breathing in to the left. And back. And breathing out to the right. And the front, all the way down on the chin. Breathing in, come up. Keep your eyes closed. If you can, don't open your eyes. Please lie down on your back with your head toward me. If you have a blanket, you may want to put it over you. It's a little chilly where you are. But bring your head toward me so that what you're receiving comes in through the crown of your head. Become aware of your breath. As you're breathing in, the stomach rises. And as you're breathing out, the stomach goes down. Be aware of that. I don't want you to do anything. I don't want you to try to make it happen. I just want you to observe. As you're breathing in, the stomach rises. And as you're breathing out, the stomach goes down. This is the way the body wants to breathe. This is the way the body naturally breathes. Just observe it happening. And now I'd like you to observe the trajectory of the breath, right? So I want you to observe as the breath is coming in through your nostrils, it goes past the upper palate, the pharynx, the larynx, into the windpipe, the bronchial passages, and into the lungs, filling the lungs. And as it's coming out, Leaves the lungs through the bronchial passages up the windpipe, the larynx, the pharynx, the upper palate, and out through the nostrils. Just observe. How effortlessly the body does this. Yeah? Just observe it. Now I'd like you to observe what it is that makes the breath happen. That energy that pushes the breath into the body. We can call it energy, we can call it chi, I call it prana. Different names, but it's the same thing. Become aware of it happening. Become aware of it. Go beyond your breath to that which makes it happen. Observe prana as it's entering the body and pushing the breath. Observe it as it's pushing it in, but also observe it as it's pushing it out. That prana is our life's force. Like our life force and our life source. Become aware that that's who we are. <clears throat> Without it, we can't live. 
It's that underlying life within all of us and everything. That connection between all of us and everything. Become aware of being alive. Become aware of that life source giving that life. And repeat after me, please. I am whole. I am full. I am total. I'm complete. I am perfect. I am Purnam. I am Sunyam and Purnam. Rich in the knowledge. I'm beautiful the way I am. I am a divine being. I am a divine being. I am a divine being. Allow those words to settle and be aware of the energy that those words carry. Be aware that that energy is prana. Be aware of that thought, that intention, having energy. Be aware of that thought and that intention creating. And be aware of what those thoughts and intentions have created in your body, in every cell in your body. We'll be addressing our bodies with that energy. We'll be addressing from the hips to the toes, then from the hips to the shoulders, and then from the shoulders to the crown of the head. Become aware of where the energy is magnified, where it is um, focused when we're chanting. It's not that we don't have it everywhere, but be aware of the focus as it happens. It's very beautiful. Allow yourself to just observe it. Don't try to make it happen. Just observe it. As we're addressing, from the hips to the toes, we'll be chanting. Uh, we'll be doing this three times. I'll be guiding you. Breathe in and let's begin. Uh, breathe in. Uh, Breathe in. Uh, become aware of that vibration as it settles through the legs and the hips and the toes and the feet. Now we'll be addressing from the hips to the shoulders and we'll be chanting. Oh, breathe in. Oh, breathe in. Breathe in. 
Now we'll be addressing from the shoulders to the crown of the head and we'll be chanting. Mm. Breathe in. Mm. Breathe in. Mm. Breathe in. Mm. And now we'll bring it all together. We'll flow through the body from the toes to the crown of the head and we'll be chanting. Oh. Breathe in. Oh. 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 aware of the state in which your body is. Be aware of the energy that is flowing through your body, that prana. And just allow yourself to be. I'll be chanting. And if you would like, coordinate your breath with me. As I say so, breathe in. And as I say hum, breathe out. So Thank you. 
Become aware of your breath as you're breathing in and as you're breathing out. Point your toes away from you and relax them. Take a fist of your hands and hold them tight and relax them. Bring your right arm overhead on the ground and turn on to your right side. Don't get up. Just go on to your right side. Let your head be on your right arm, on your right upper arm. Bring the left knee bent in front of you so that it's on the ground. Your right leg is extended straight. Your left hand is on the ground in front of you. Let any kinks in your back work themselves out. Be aware of your intentions. Let those intentions take you throughout today with love and with compassion. Slowly and gently use your arms, please. Push yourself up to a seated position facing me with your eyes closed. And your palms in your lap, right palm to the left, and the thumbs gently touching each other. Breathe in, and as you're breathing out, mentally chant OM. Put your mind where your heart is, and put your heart where your mind is, and let that be what guides you. OM SHANTI. Namaste. And slowly, very, very slowly, and very gently, when you're ready, open your eyes. Hario. Hey, you're all unmuted. Thank, Thank you. you